a bit on that one as well. Right. So it's right. quite a straightforward video. How does the um, the, the um, solar panel work then? How, how does that affect all this? Yeah, well, that, that one touch, it does, does absolutely nothing to that. It, all it does is trickle charge your battery. Right. Yeah, so it won't do So does that do, it, even if you've got everything else switched off? Does it, when does it work? All the time? or? Well, yeah, as long as you've got daylight. Yes, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah it's assuming yes. it's light. Yeah, so yeah, it's, it's, it's totally in, automatic. It's totally so even automatic. if we've switched, it's cut everything off, yeah, it will including, still charge. The, including the set off, yeah, uh, the system, um, shutdown, system shutdown. Yeah, it will still, it will still trickle charge. Oh, yes. That's good, really. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it is yeah. Good. you've got it in storage. So you see, yeah. in storage, you can't get power to it. Yeah, it'll still trickle charge. Obviously, yeah. you've got to cover all this. Yeah, because otherwise, eventually, after a couple of months or so, yeah. the battery goes. Flat, it, it's pretty good, especially with people who got, like yourselves, got motor movers on. Yes. Then yeah, well, you, you don't. You want, you want that battery yeah. decent when you come to it. Yeah. It, and it keeps yeah. it top. It, you know, it keeps it topped up. Yeah. You know, and plus, you know, any uh, batteries that get really low and stay low, yeah. then sometimes you can't get charged back into yeah. it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Cool yeah. Because we've had we've had situations where it's been two or three months. But I haven't charged it up and I've come in and it's virtually, yeah. it's almost flat. Yeah, that's it. And if you leave so it too long like that, it, it won't do, do the battery any good. No, yeah, no, that's, no, no, that's right. Okay, we yeah. a couple of uh, solar panels. That is your regulator up there. Right. Okay, you see there's two lights. Oh, there should be two lights. Yeah. yeah. Well, one, the bottom one's not. Oh, it is just. One's switch. flashing. Yeah, that's it. So the top light is red at the moment. It can be green. What it's saying is it's uh, red, it's giving the full 14 half volts. Right. Okay. If it, the battery is in a bit better condition, that light will go green. And that's just telling you it's around about 12, 12 and a half, 13 volts going into your, into your battery. Light flashing green at the bottom, that's to say it's, char it's charging. Right. Okay, there will be occasions when them lights go out. Right. Reason for that is one, it's dark. So obviously it's not going to be operating when it's dark. Right. Two, if the, your battery is fully charged and you've got electric connected on the charger as well, so that it doesn't really need the power coming from your solar yeah. panel, then also if you, you, you're not connected to electric, when your battery's quite low, it actually turns them two little lights off right. to save about that much electric. Right. To put all so the when should you worry? What 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 would if it wasn't working? What would go? What well, would I you don't know. You don't know unless the batteries. Well, you you all, can't all, tell all you from do, that. No, I no. mean, I mean, if the something goes wrong with the solar solar panel. Yeah, would, I, I would, don't think it indicates anything on there. Doesn't right. No. No. So, so basically, just, ignore it. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it does. It does. It just totally carries automatic. on. Yeah, just it does, does it all yes, itself. Right. Right. Which is quite good. You don't have to fiddle anything. You don't forget. Don't forget to switch it on and off and things like that. So. Yeah, it's all, all does itself. It's all automatic. Yep. Right, good. Okay. Yep. Right. Fridge, which is probably some, maybe something similar you may, may have had before. Mm -hmm. On off button is that one there. Yeah. It's just dull at the moment. If I just press the button, it just lights it up. It just brightens the pressure, see? So it's running on gas at the moment. If I press that there, now I'm running on electric. Yeah. Yeah. But what if I on gas, all I do, press that, and it will automatically yeah. light. Okay. It will let you know if it fails. If I just put it onto 12 volt now, that's, that's showing failure now. Yeah. So that's showing yeah. failure because it's not connected to the yeah. car. There's no yeah. any, the engine's not running, it's not providing yeah. 12 volt. If that's doing that on the gas, that means the gas hasn't lit. Yeah. So you check your usual things, you have turned the gas on, you have got gas, yeah. all you do then is just press that and it reattempts to light it. Right. Okay. So um, when we're driving along, mm -hmm. we want the fridge trickle charge. You just, what do you do, just press on battery? Yeah, press on yeah so you need one, to yeah. switch, switch the fridge on and press, press that. that yeah. One. And then as soon as the engine's running, that yeah. will provide 12 volts direct to your fridge. Right. Okay, it won't yeah. cool the fridge down, it just maintains the temperature. No, it just maintains the temperature, yeah. 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 Okay? Yeah. And that's back to electric. Back to electric, yeah. This side here, all five lit, that's your temperature. Yeah. So that's the coldest your fridge is going to be. Yeah. So I press this button here, so that will scroll through. Yeah, the, to the whatever temperature, yeah. yeah. So two yeah. or three is probably about average yeah. in this country. Yeah. Depending on obviously how cold or yeah. hot it is outside. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I'll put the fridge, just open the door there by pressing that button down. You see this little contraption down here mm -hmm. so it, on the door mechanism itself. So to get that out, just push against the wall as such, and then slide it towards you. It is a little, little bit sticky. And that holds the door open to allow air when you're in storage. Right. To air to circulate. Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's operating off the door catch itself. So push the button down before you try and open it, right. and it should just slide back. Yeah. Make sure it is fully back before you use it, because it won't, the fridge won't seal, and then you'll be ringing up saying yeah. the fridge doesn't work. Yeah. Right. This here, if you can see the picture on there, yeah, that will re that will come out. So if you want tall the stuff in the fridge, so if you want an extra tall fridge, that will come out. If you don't want any ice or anything mm. in the freezer box, and um, the other advantage of that is if uh, when you're in storage, if you've noticed before, you're getting mould round here. Yeah, you can actually take this out when you're in storage, put it up here, and it's obviously air is going to circulate around it. It's not right. going to get mouldy. Yeah, right. So how do, how does that come out? It comes out. It's got two little tabs. It shows. It doesn't show it on there. Right, two little tiny tabs down here. So you just pop that down there, pop that down there, and then all you do is pull the catches towards the centre. 
then that will just slide out. Oh, right. Okay, a bit more fiddly getting back in again. But it just clicks up. It's always a bit fiddly, this bit. Just make sure it's fully across before you try and click it up, because sometimes they do pop off. Okay. Press it on and up. Well, yeah. that be your so you push it, yeah. So push it, yeah. Push it as far across as you can before you cl click them back. Yeah, right. Okay. We don't, yeah, we don't like to take it out fine. very often, don't we? No, I should think no. use but, the ice. Yeah. yeah, but that's it. If you want to you take it out for storage, you know, yeah, if, you, if you're yeah. storing it for two or three yeah. months, and then it obviously stops it getting mouldy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How are we doing, folks? I think it's your friend wants us to uh, connect the car back up again. Yeah. Um, I can right. do that in a second as well. I say that's that's most of the uh, technical stuff. Yeah. Are you happy with what you've seen? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool.